Time now for The Clash. Now, as I said in my digest yesterday, there's another Labour civil war as Keir Starmer's dogged focus on Partygate has been criticised by shadow levelling up Secretary Lisa Nandy, who believes the leader should be focusing on the cost of living crisis. So today I sent my producer Caroline Gawley to Westminster to see if any Labour MPs would have the balls to go on the record. <laughs> Andy, right to that Starmer. I don't know um, what you're talking about. I'm sorry. By going on about Partygate rather than the cost of living crisis. I've no idea what you're talking about. I'm going to meet a school party now and do my constituency work. I don't know who you are. So goodbye. I don't know what you're talking about. That. Honestly, we got home at quarter of midnight last night. Well, you know about the cost of living crisis and you know about yes. Partygate. So which is more important to people in the country? Goodbye. So I'm, so I'm, I'm just rushing off. Okay. Me. Does it make him look out of touch, though? Hello. Sorry, Caroline at GB News. Can I just ask you, is the uh, Starmer looking out of touch by going on about Partygate so much and not focusing on the cost of living? Very much focused on the cost of living. Uh, that's what my constituents are raising with me on the doorstep. Um, I've had many Conservative voters switching over uh, to Labour, um, both over their concerns over Partygate but also about the cost of living. Well, clearly people's immediate cost of living is something that's a key concern, but they can't be dealt with as an issue with a Prime Minister who doesn't have authority of the House. We are focused on the cost of living and most definitely we are calling it out every turn, every time we get up and stand up in the chamber. Can I do I'll run with you. Back. <laughs> Lay Renfee's literally running away from addressing their internal civil war. Come on, have to take another look at that snivelling little wuss again. That's Dr Rupa Huck, Labour MP for Ealing Central and Acton there, sprinting from the GB News cameras. So, as discontent in the Labour ranks mounts, should Keir Starmer be focusing on Partygate or the cost of living crisis? Dan at GBNews.uk, tweet me at GB News. We've got our poll running there too. But weighing in on this now, the former Labour minister, Dennis McShane, the broadcaster and author, Nina Mishkoff, and founder of Pimlico Plumbers, Charlie Mullins. Dennis, so Labour MPs don't want to talk about this, but... Isn't enough enough? And Keir Starmer has to start focusing on what really matters, especially given he has his own little indiscretion uh, with his own little party gate where he was downing bear at a work meeting. I half agree with you, Dan. My <laughs> That's view better than not agreeing at all, I guess. <laughs> liars, liars, pants on fire, accusations hurled across the chamber, whoever's in power. And there used to be a BBC friend of mine a woman called Joy Johnson, who was employed by the B BBC, just to shout at John Major, will you resign, Mr P Prime Minister? I didn't think it was worthy of a, a very good journalist. But the plain fact is our constitution insists that the Prime Minister must not lie to Parliament, mislead Parliament. And however you twist it around, uh, we all agree that that's what Boris Johnson did. Well, he but said frankly, he wasn't uh, intending to. He, he, he presented well, oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'd love to say I wasn't intending to get involved with expenses troubles. I mean, come on. Uh, I'm sure, <laughs> you know, that, 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 that reasoning was tossed out in legal theory 200 years ago. So that is a serious problem. We have no written constitution, all the rest of it. I actually think there's been an overfocus on this. I tell you why. Because it'd be far more effective for Labour if the people who take out the Prime Minister are his own MPs, are the voters next Thursday, we're going to have a very, very big municipal election. Labour starts from actually a bad position. They won so many seats, it'd be difficult to win some more, but I'm working in London and I hear confident reports of uh, Labour uh, Tory councillors going. Uh, so I, I do that. And yes, I think we have missed a trip. We haven't yeah. noticed the inflation so twice Mishkoff. out of France. Nina Mishkoff, doesn't Dennis McShane have a point? Labour could take the high ground, focus on what really matters. Instead, we've got hypocritical Starmer constantly banging on about Partygate when he broke the rules himself last year in Hartlepool. Well, not, it, I, I don't think he's hypocritical at all. And quite frankly, in, in today's... Did you prime, see him down prime, in boots? Prime, minister, prime Minister's question. To, well, the police investigated and said there was nothing to investigate. Well, they're looking at it again. Well, that's... I, I doubt very much whether they will. That was just, that was just, they were just answering a letter. Um, the thing is, today, Keir Starmer spent the entire Prime Minister's questions tackling Boris Johnson on the economy. 
Uh, he, he told Boris Johnson that uh, the IMF said that uh, predicted that our um, economy in uh, next year would be the have had the highest uh, inflation and would be the slowest growing and kept hammering the points home. So he is doing, doing both things at once. But the thing is, you sh mustn't let Partygate go because it's not just that he broke the laws that he made. But the thing is, nobody will get rid of this this completely inappropriate Prime Minister who is a liability both at home and abroad. In your opinion, Lee. In, in, in your opinion. opinion. And Not in your opinion, Charlie Mullins. So let, 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 let me bring think, Charlie think, in. Think, 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 Charlie, think do you think Keir Starmer looks ridiculous by banging on about Partygate? When, let's be honest, we all know, we've all seen the pictures. He did exactly the same thing. He was at a work event, socialising when he wasn't meant to, downing beer, having a curry. Look, there's the proof, Charlie. Yeah, look, I mean, it's, it's pretty common knowledge now that uh, he's done the same thing. And if uh, Boris has been an investigator, then surely he would do it about Star Starmer. But moving on, we really need to move on to things, issues that matter. We're two years away from the election now, so he should be putting stuff out there that's going to help the people, whether it be, you know, dropping the cost of energy, dropping the cost of fuel, or something a bit more sort of productive, rather than worrying about a party that's been and gone. Nina? The thing, the thing is... Boris Johnson is a complete liability at home. The government we we are lumbered with has been ch has been chosen by him, so we are left with ministers who are not fit for purpose. We have a a, 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 a Home Office. Yeah, but I'm talking about Keir Starmer. No, I'm, Nina, I'm sure, this I'm debate talking, is about no, Keir Starmer. Talking, should Keir Starmer be talking I, I about Partygate or should he be talking, talking about the cost about of living crisis? And all you're doing Starmer, is slagging off Boris Johnson. A, what about attack, Keir Starmer? Who is attacking Boris Johnson over Partygate so we can get this Prime Minister out. And the thing is, this government, on the economy, on on energy, on on foreign policy... On, on immigration, it has been a complete disaster. He has put people in power who but should Dennis not be in power. But Dennis wants Boris out too, Nina. Well, that's fair And enough. Dennis, you say the focus on Partygate actually could turn voters off. And Lisa and Andy, come on, th this is not someone who wants Boris Johnson as Prime Minister, Dennis. She's a front bencher who disagrees with the Starmer strategy. And uh, that's why I nominated her or voted for her in the election two years ago. I think she's really in touch with huge swathes of opinion in, in Britain that are ignored, if I may say so, by the uh, Conservatives. But, you know, I wrote a book last year. I was on GB News uh, presenting it late last year called Must Labour Always Lose? And one point in it is how ruthless, how ruthless the Tories are in getting rid of prime ministers if they think they're going to lose them some seats. They did it to Margaret Thatcher, they did it to Anthony Eden, they did it to Neville Chamberlain, and I still think they might do it to Boris Johnson. Now, Labour perhaps might want to keep a wounded duck, lame duck prime minister, now proven and accepted as a liar, in power, limping towards the election. Are we that sure we, I'm just speaking That's as a Labour guy, that we want to boot don't mind him by out? Saying. That's a very cynical approach. I think most right-thinking people would want somebody out so that we have a, a well, Charlie Mullins, government and, and a better, and a be yeah, better look, living. Look, Char people Charlie people Mullins, do, do you think Nina's right that folk really have lost faith with Boris Johnson? Well, not really. I mean, he's still the best man for the job. I mean, if we're talking about a party, well, no, why are you laughing? Why are you laughing, I mean, Nina? Not... Oh, listen, I mean, th that is so out of touch with what people think. As really? I said, 72% really? of people think he's a liar. Really? There How did he win a landslide election? There are hundreds of thousands of people who, who are Nina, mourning, who are Starmer. mourning the... Nina, just, just let Charlie make his oh. point. What, does, what do people think about Starmer? He's a wet fish. He's got no new ideas. He, yes, he does. Going around his, uh... Yes, he does have ideas. Really? As you, what, tell me what they are. All I keep hearing is about party day. OK, on, on, on energy, tax, tax, tax the fat cats. Why not? We get some money off them. OK, high taxes. That's his new idea. But look, fascinating debate. Thank you so much for having it. That was the former Labour Minister, Dennis McShane, the broadcaster and author, Nina Mishkoff, and founder of Pimlico Plumbers, Charlie Mullins. So who do you agree with on this? Eden on Twitter says concentrating on Partygate is far easier for Starmer as he has no real solutions to deal with the cost of living. From Adrian, Starmer should focus on cost of living, COVID furlough, fraud and the government failure to protect care homes. And from Bosch, you can do both when you're a good leader like he is. So Bosch is with Nina. And your verdict is now in. Just 9% of you think Starmer's focus should be on Partygate, while 91% of you say he needs to look at the cost of living crisis.